In the beginning, God spoke. In God, I hope his voice sounded like thunder. Like that's where it got its name from Like it reverberated inside of the son's eardrums I wonder Did the father turn to the pre-incarnate word To ask him about the sound he heard And did he smile and contemplate the earth While the spirit confirmed their plans And God said let there be and God did that unparalleled melody sustain into all eternity while the blessed trinity joined in harmony to key in a void and formless land. Is the expanse between earth and sky as deep and wide as the difference between dark and light? And did you stare at the stars like I stare at your night? And how bright do they shine from outside of time? And if there is no need for the suns in your kingdom, well, did you need them? See, I cannot fathom the winds and the waves, let alone the waves the winds make on that day that you say it is good. And no depraved gaze prays in your spirit's conversation with the creation you made, I can hardly see it. Even my imagination wanes beneath the death that deteriorates at my faith, but before a glass darkly behind Eden's gates, man. Man walked hand in hand with his God, face to face, imago day. Let us make man in our image, dust into clay, bestowing dignity to humanity, the potter crafted and shaped, and when you breathe life into him, was it a whirlwind? As in the beginning, God spoke, and the heavens were made, and all their hosts by the breath of his mouth. And the details are speculation, but I picture your creation of man as glory that that heavenly host sung about. His chest rises and falls beneath this cosmic anticipation, waiting to see him open his eyes for the first time. His eyes open and close, and if there was an expectation, it was exceeded and pupils finally dilated to find God. God holding out his hand in a posture that hasn't changed just like his plan hasn't changed since day one. And I like to think that they dance to the glory of his name three in one as the breath in man's lungs. Perfect. God put him to work and work. And if only work were the work of a fall. A cultivator in the vein of his creator tended to the garden, invited to enjoy it all, save one thing. And that's freedom, man. Unparalleled pleasure, sustained within boundaries. Just do not go near that tree. Its fruit is divisive. Its knowledge unseen, but not something that you need. What you need. And what you need is a helper. And here a twist of irony, the man is no good without his Eve. Well, sleep deeply, deep sleeping, he fashioned what Adam never found among the beasts and awoke from his peace and apologetic for poetry. The first words spoken were spoken words. At last, bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, one woman, one man, naked and unashamed to consummate the one plan that God had for his people. We call that equal. In the beginning is the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word watched Satan fall from heaven like lightning. And I'll bet that it was frightening. That angel of light ending up the sky like he could shine as bright as the sun. Did God really say? He still begins everything that he does by questioning the authority of the word of the one who will not succumb to his schemes. The same cannot be said for Eve, the firstborn of the living and of the dead offspring that labor beneath the curse that drips from good and evil's leaves, you will not die. And God knows that it's true. God doesn't want the truth to be made known to you. And as it delighted her eyes, she took the fruit. Her husband stood by almost as if to assume that the fault wouldn't fall to the man in the room if he used his bride to hide his cowardice before he took a bite too. Evening. Come king's wind calling. Where are you? And I wonder what their friend felt like. Like 
his heart had been broken in two. Like from the overflow of his soul, he crafted these people that were known and sought to dethrone their lover's rule. Who told you that you were naked? Did you eat of that forbidden fruit? And the enemy still distorts obedience for constriction as opposed to opportunity to worship you? Well, I guess he lives up to his name. Serpent, slithering, fame thief, fang, sucking blood from my veins while life and death hang in the balance. And we labor beneath the weight of Satan, sin, death, flesh, and its effects is justly sentenced to us on that day. What of man? God said, let there be enmity. And God did that devastating melody leave any hope for me while the broken-hearted trinity joined in harmony to agree to go forth with your plans. As the expanse between earth and sky is deep and wide as the separation between you and I. And do you long for my heart like I long for your eyes to shine and fill the universe of void that's in mine. And if you do still long to call sons to your kingdom, or will you free them? In the beginning, God spoke and the heavens were made. Like I cannot fathom the height nor the depth, let alone the scope or breadth of your love on the day that you wept and sent humanity from your presence, watching as they went and we continue to walk away as though we owe no debt, I can see it. In the beginning, God spoke, so is there no hope left? Do we all lay down and die the way we made our beds? In the beginning, God spoke. So is there no hope left for the devil? You will bruise his heel, but he will crush your head.